Update 1.5 Merry Meadow for Hello Kitty Island Adventure has a ton of things to keep track of. And with the new biome and all of the new quests and the new visitor to track down, you may have missed some changes to the visitors. So here's a quick overview of the new things happening with visitors in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. So most things are still the same. You can still find the visitors in the visitors app. It will still tell you all of their requirements that you need to put in their cabin. And remember to pay attention to what they like listed on the left hand side, put five or six of those items in the cabin as well, that is going to make them more likely to visit you. And as a refresher, some of the visitors are travelers and some are not. The ones that are not travelers could come any day of the week. The ones that are travelers come on a schedule about once a month or so. My Melody will tell you when they might be arriving. And then they can come for a long weekend, I think starting on Thursday. Also a refresher, when they come to your island, hopefully you'll get a quest from them under your daily quests and when you complete it. That will increase their star rating with you. You can also talk to them each day, whether they're visiting or if they've already moved in, to get a gift from them and it'll always be the same from that visitor. Once you get to that 5 star rating, they will ask to stay in their cabin permanently and you want them to move in because this can help you unlock other quests and get a free gift every day. Of course getting to that 5 stars could be behind hidden requirements like you don't see their quest because you're not far enough in the story to do the thing that their quest requires like visiting a particular biome maybe you haven't been to yet or baking something in the upgraded oven before you have it. Now here are some of the newer features for visitors. Each visitor is associated with a main character. This is kind of like the person who would logically invite them to the island. So My Melody's grandparents are associated with My Melody. Macaron is associated with Pom Pom Perrin. And you're going to need that main character on your island and you need to have talked to them. I'm not sure that you need to have leveled up friendship to a certain degree, but you certainly have to have talked to them before they're gonna start inviting their relatives, their friends, their associates to the island. Now the main character could be be any of the main residents on the island, but it could also be visitors that have moved into the island. Now that we have this part, we also now have some visitors who will not only unlock quests for us, but they can be locked behind a quest. So you may need to do a quest, probably with their main character, in order for them to visit your island. So you really want to be building up the friendship so that you can get these quests and complete them in order to get additional visitors coming to the island. In update 1.5, we actually got four new potential visitors. However, if you don't have their main characters and you haven't talked to them yet, you won't see these visitors in your app yet. And I know for sure that at least two of them are locked behind a new quest. One welcome visitor change in 1.5. Dear Daniel's requirements have been updated. So before Dear Daniel's requirements were so open that he really wasn't very picky and as long as the cabin was in Seaside Resort and had some furniture in it, he'd make himself at home. If you've been playing since the beginning, this probably wasn't a big deal, but if you wanted to move him or if you were getting multiple visitors at the same time, you'd find him taking over cabins you had prepared for more discerning visitors. In 1.5, there is an additional requirement for Dear Daniel, and this is Mama's Apple Pie. Now that this requirement has been added, it is so much easier to direct Dear Daniel to the cabin that you want him to live in. So I think this is going to help a lot of folks who are shuffling cabins or have multiple visitors along with Dear Daniel in Seaside Resort that they're trying to settle in and get to five stars. Another thing that is a new change, some of the characters are now seasonal characters. That means they are only going to be visiting your island during a particular season. And at first this seems really difficult because that means you may not see certain characters for an even longer period of time. And that is especially confusing if any character ends up being a traveler and seasonal. But this also frees up those daily quests so that you won't have seven different visitors coming on the same day and then you only get quests for two or three of them. So hopefully this makes it a little less overwhelming, especially for newer players. But the seasonal characters right now, Berry, Cherry, and Baku are only going to visit your island during the fall. Pam and Tam are only going to visit your island during the winter or the summer. And Macaron is now only going to visit your island in the spring. This isn't a hundred percent for sure, but it sounds like the game is going to interpret these seasons as spring 
spring being March, April, and May, summer as June, July, and August, fall as September, October, and November, and winter as December, January, and February. So with it currently being February when I'm making this, that means you have about another week or so left in the winter season. So if you really want to get Pam and Tam, try to get their cabins ready as soon as you can before they stop visiting the island. The good news is spring should start in about a week with March and we should see Macaron start visiting the island again. So if you didn't get her to five stars yet, you should have another chance really soon. Now there is one more time when the visitors will be coming to the island and that's for the their birthday. So pay attention to when the different visitor birthdays are. I feel like I need a calendar for this game. At least the Sanrio account tends to tweet out when various characters have birthdays because we now also have quests with the regular characters for their birthdays, but that's a different video. So visitors, they can come all the time. They can come only during a certain season or they may come on a very specific rotation about every month or so, and they should come to your island on their birthday. So hopefully this helps you with the visitors in Hello Kitty Island Adventure and catches you up on all the new things. I'll probably have a video guide to some of the specific quests related to the visitors and the requirements. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island Adventure content and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.